going to sing it. So everybody watching me understands that a mountain speaks of the kingdom of God. That's what it represents. Every one of you needs to climb that mountain today. Away, out, away from the darkness. Away from the worship of idol. Away from the careless seekers of nothing. Climb to this mountain today. I can hear your voice. The mountain of the Lord. There it is. Now I can touch your face. Now listen to me. There is a place for those who are thirsty in the mountain of the Lord. The mountain of No fear. In the mountain of the Lord, I can touch your face. Your presence draws me near. There is a place. There is a place for you.
to somebody that you love them and say to somebody that you grant them a life and say to somebody that you care for them oh say to somebody there's life in their eyes I want you to tell somebody Say to somebody, I love you. And say to somebody, I'm glad you're alive. Oh. Tell them. And say to somebody, I pray for you. Say to somebody, my love will never die. You can do it today. We're a church. We may be in different parts of the earth, but there's somebody next to you. The closest thing you'll get to Jesus. So say to somebody that you love them. Say to somebody, I'm glad you're alive. Say to somebody, I care for you. Say to somebody, there's life in your eyes, yeah. Say to somebody, I love you. Say, 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 I'm glad you're alive. love will never die say to somebody I'll pray for you say to somebody my love will never die yeah. do it now say to somebody care for them say to somebody I see the life in your eyes yeah. say to somebody say to somebody you love them you love them you love them let them know you yeah. tell somebody Let's worship Him. Won't you sing this with me? Won't you make us one? Won't you make us one? One with the sun. And as I touch your heart, and won't you make us one? As I touch your heart, make us one. Make us one. Yeah, 
could touch your face Somebody touch me. Somebody touch the hem of my garment. Something left me. Something left me. As I felt that one touch me. Lord, there are so many. How would you know on the left and the right they touching your garments? Jesus said, somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. And I felt my life going out. Somebody touch me. Now they are Lord. Him. You will be on. Somebody touch him. You will be on. I wanted to take a moment today to thank you so much, all of you who have supported Prophetic Rewind over the years. I have still got so much footage and so much stuff to share with you of my dad, and it's because of you and your donations and your sacrifice that I am able to keep doing this and bringing this to you every week. And so my gratitude is immeasurable. and. Uh, one little thing that we did was, and we did this earlier this year, was we put together um, a very special little daily devotional of emails that my dad used to send to um, all of us, his staff and friends and family, and he called it the Daily Light. And so we put it in this 31-day devotional, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, just to read my dad's words, he was he was such a good writer and so poetic, but but also so anointed, and um, I know that this will bless you. And so when you give a, don a donation to anywhere in the House of Destiny, but specifically with Prophetic Rewind, click the link below the screen. There's a banner, and you're going to see it there. That is how you get this for any amount. If you have a penny, a penny will work, and you can get a copy of this. And it's just our way of thanking you for the years now of support in, in uh, continuing the legacy of my dad and what God was doing through him. So I won't take any more, more of your time. We're gonna go right back in, but I just wanted to thank you so much again for your support and your continued support. And uh, there are banners across the bottom of the screen and phone numbers you can call and all kinds of ways that you can continue to support the legacy of my dad, the House of Destiny, and specifically Prophetic Rewind. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart one more time. You do it right now. You do it right now, watching all over the world, north, south, east, and west. Listen, prepare yourself, because you are at the den, and I welcome you, even though we cannot touch you tangibly. 
I want you to know that we are here for you and we have a powerful, powerful den ahead and beautiful guest. If you sense the presence of God, maybe somebody of you touched him. Go to see uh, E flat, please. If, if you felt the presence of God, then you know that you can be free, you can be whole. That's what we're proclaiming to you today. Let's go. Because you're going to taste and see that the Lord is good. You got it? Let's go! Come on.
church, let them bind together. Israel, you are favored. Everybody say it with me. Israel, you are favored. I want you to prophesy over Israel right now. Prophesy over your house, over your people, the people of God. Say it. Favored. Israel, you are favored. Radiant. Israel, you are radiant. Prosperous. Israel, you are prosperous. Treasured. Israel, you are treasured. Victorious. Israel, you victorious. Again. Israel, you victorious. You're the chosen one. Israel, you the chosen one. Get her. Chosen. Oh. What did the prophet say about him? What did Isaiah say about him? What did Jeremiah say about him? What did Daniel say about Israel? Forever. 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 Yeah. Israel. Say this. You will have protection, supernatural intervention from the Lord. Israel, and I will take 
Egypt. And I will cause a Joseph spirit to be raised up to change and to do what he did once before. Say the Lord. Come on. As we stand before you, Master, Prince of Peace, the one who made us because of his sacrifice, princes of the blood royal. As we stand before you, remember that you were there in the beginning in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was there with Abraham he was there with Isaac Jake Malak Yahweh and Lord today we don't forget that you were with you were with Hannah opened up a womb you were with the distressed the lonely the broken the torn even chose to go to the sinner's house without fear of contamination or distress we see Joseph today I pray that the people of God who come and attend would listen 
The Bible says that in the presence of temptation by the beautiful pot of his wife, that Joseph left his garment in her hand and fled. And there are some sins that we contend with that can only be overcome by flight. And at times the wings of a dove serve us better to overcome than the jaws of a lion. Holy Spirit, carry, carry us away as we flee from that company that would distress us. Let us remember that Joseph fled from evil company. And yes, it is true that we may be thought of as stupid when we decline evil company. But I would rather lose my cloak than lose my character. Today I pray for this kind of integrity and love for God to be upon a generation that so easily submits. Rather flee. The day will come, though you be in prison, Though you be bound up, that word that he gave you, that dream that he gave you, will bring prosperity. Whether you are in the cave like David or in the prison like Joseph, one day that door will unlock and you will wake up a prisoner and go to bed, a prime minister. Lord, I pray today for our people those suffering, those hurting, that you would heal them today. As we are presented to you, to you our praise, count it as fragrance and the lifting of our hands as the evening sacrifice. And I give you thanks and welcome you again today. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Powerful time of praise, declaration, proclamation, prayers. And you know, because of it, we are better people. Because you get onto that little computer or that screen with Roku or whatever, and you watch and you participate, things begin to happen. You cannot deny the presence of the kingdom of God. I may not say things perfectly. I may not be the greatest orator in the world. But you cannot deny the presence of God because when a man worships him, in spirit and in truth something changes you have the power to draw near to God you have the power to say no and leave your cloak and flee as I said some of you are struggling don't use the jaws of the lion when you have the wings of a dove to flee and that's what we have today and I sense it I sense that God would carry us to that place of destiny without a fight sometimes we just want to get out there and fight and these are unnecessary battles we don't need them welcome to the the greatest place on earth right now why because the Lord God is present and we have some beautiful guests here good news everything about the show is good news so if you are struggling you have a crisis it may end up that you may be proclaiming some good news because we believe in revelation the power of revelation is simply when God comes in and by a quickening speaks a word unpremeditated, unpre not preconceived, and speaks it out. And it activates the positive operating system in your soul and deactivates the negative operating system. That's what it does. Today, we want to deactivate the, or inactivate, whatever word it is, the negative operating system in your life. You know what I love about the prophetic is you get so close to the heart of God. You hear His mind, His thoughts, what He plans to do. 
you know, you need this on a regular basis. And there are millions of viewers all over the world that experience this twice a week, sometimes even more, at my den. And you can experience it as well. I would love to have you there. All you've got to do is go to kim.tv. We have so much. We have worship. We have songs that come from the heart of God. Prophetic words about things that have not happened yet. That's what we, we say to the people, welcome to the future. And I want you to experience that. I look forward to seeing you there.